golden point is the next layout that we're going to look at. And basically, just to go in a little bit quickly on the golden point here, uh, the golden point or the golden ratio is a uh, is a number that was um, established in the early 1500s, and uh, it's it's essentially just a really cool number that provides the perfect area for um, for shape and provides the most pleasing spots in an illustration. It has as much um, enticement to the art world as it does the math world. Uh, a couple of things just to think about when it comes to the golden point is that it's not only just a something you use visually for like a layout, but it's also been used for um, uh, anything from like the uh, Apple's iPod uh, to the Parthenon to advertising. Uh, there's a lot of um, usefulness to this layout and to this size, so we're going to go over basically the uh, the elements behind it, and then we'll start to establish um, how we can use it. So getting started with, when it comes to creating it, you want to create a square. Now, square being, of course, you know, all sides are equal. And then we're going to divide the square in half, and when we divide it in half, we basically want to take an arc, just a line, just going from the center point of half up to the corner. And when you establish this line, it's actually going to give you, by having this one, it gives you the length for your other points. So I'm going to go ahead and just move my angles down to the side. Now, this gives me the point from here, which is what we've already established. But the other part of it is it gives me the length to the uh, the width of it over here. Now, being able to use that, I can also use a uh, an arc method, just a uh, um, a circle. If you take a circle shape and you put half of it through the point, you'll also find the points that way. Now, along with that one, uh, allows me to come up with a rectangle. Now, the rectangle shape, um, this is what we would consider the golden, uh, the golden ratio. Uh, this is what you get from establishing it. And what, what comes from it on the math side is uh, the 0.618. This measurement through here, this is, this is the number that you actually get. So the, the total number would be 1.618 along with the height being 1.0. Now, this type of placement for us allows us to actually establish the perfect rectangle. But along with that, it also gives us the placement for an object. Now, the object placement, this is one of the best parts about this. Is it tells us where to place an object that's most pleasing to the viewer. And if you notice, um, the, uh, the point 618 right here going up through this area, along with the very same measurement, notice we have a square right here. Taking the square, dividing it in half, drawing it down to the side here, we're also finding that exact same length for it over on that side. So be, being able to do this establishes both directions for us. And then at the same time, if we were to actually take the same square shape and then flip it over to the side, this would allow us to start seeing that there's four points being established right here. We have four points right through there. Now those four points, those divisions, can also be divided up into smaller shapes. So again, like we had before, we could divide and then divide it again, um, going this way to this way, then this way to that way, then this way back to this way, and then back through. Um, this whole set of curve and flow going through here, this is actually a logarithmic spiral or a growth spiral. Um, this is something you would find in like a uh, in a shell. Uh, a nautilus shell, it's something that it comes natural, which is kind of cool is that our the, the math equation behind it and even from an artist standpoint is that we get this look and this flow uh, from something in nature. And this spiral that can occur looks very similar to this. Um, it just allows us to have, like going from point to point, it allows us to have this curve and this flow. And this, this um, curve itself is also um, uh, a mathematical equation. It's not just, you know, they've been able to actually pr um, perform this one through math, which is uh, you know, just kind of a cool thing of how the math side as well as the art side really go together with this, including with the nature. All right, so if we establish from all of those points what we had before, which was the um, uh, this piece right here, um, by looking at it, and we can actually put in our four points, which establish our, our basically for, for one shot here, not the continuous shots, but for one shot, this establishes really well our, uh, our main focus points of uh, the areas of interest. This is also the most uh, pleasing spots on an image to place something for a viewer. Now, check out this real fast. Okay, so we have, we have this equation, and you may be looking at it going, how am I supposed to be able to recreate it every time I want to use it? The other option for you is thirds. Um, now, if I place in thirds, notice all I've done is just divide it up into thirds both ways, and we have our four points connecting. 
Now if I was to take my thirds and just drop the opacity down so you can see it, notice that the division between, check out how close those are. Alright, so um, in the family of thirds, you could actually use it to establish pretty close to the golden point or the golden ratio as well. So it's not something that has to be uh, the 0.618 to get you exact, uh, which would be good, but your thirds is going to get you pretty close. So when you're looking in terms of trying to do a really smooth or a solid layout on various sizes, um, so if it's not exactly the, uh, the perfect rectangle, I would still suggest finding your thirds and then establishing your, uh, your areas of interest, your focal points, within those areas of, uh, uh, that are established through here on the thirds. Alright, so um, those going into play for your layout, this is just one way, this is just one option on laying out a page and it's uh, one way to actually find an area of focus. When you first start on uh, drawing pictures, and this can be like we have uh, landscape or portrait, but when you start drawing on pictures, something to keep in mind is that whether it's the, th the uh, thirds or the, uh, the golden point, is that if you haven't drawn before, take your time, go ahead and do the layout, and then actually try to establish your pictures directly on here. If I have a character, and I want to draw a character's interest right here, I could draw a face, you notice the, the angle I'm going. If I drew an oval right here, and this line was actually this area, was actually where the eyes went, maybe the lips went down here, the nose went down here, is it your main focus was on this face right here. Um, th that's a really good tool to actually use for it. Uh, I would highly suggest doing this for a lot of your first time drawings, and then once you start to see it, then start pulling away, try some things different, see what happens, but uh, try establishing it on some rules that have been around for a long time, and uh, see if those rules still apply and, and, and work for you as well. Alright, so this is going to finish our golden point. We'll look at uh, a couple more things after this.